When I was a kid, my teacher used to say, if in doubt, edit out. What he didn't say was, if in doubt, edit out to their best player, Mr. Henderson. Brighton goalkeeper Wayne Henderson had plenty of options when he came out to clear this ball. The best one was not to head it straight down to Watford's Chris Eagles. Yeah, I remember this one actually because I covered this obviously for the championship and spoke to Chris Eagles afterwards and he was really chuffed about that kind of strike because I think apart from I suppose the obvious example of David Beckham back in I think it was 1996, it's not often you get to score one from the halfway line. It was actually two in a fortnight on the championship this season because Joey Good Johnson scored one for Leicester slightly further back than Chris Eagles. Chris Eagles was gutted that only two weeks later his record for the season has been nicked. But the funniest part about the goal it's not that it's a great goal by Chris Eagles, but that the keeper for Brighton, as such a shocker, comes out, realises he's well out of his area. But it's the worst header in history. It's almost as if he picks Chris Eagles out and goes, go on then, I bet you can't score from the halfway line. Oh, you can. I like Wayne Henderson's reaction, the Brighton goalkeeper. Joined them from Villa. Don't know how long he'd been at the club at that time, but he can't have known his teammates all that long. But I'll charge out, I'll get stranded. I'll sort of half run back, and then I'll do the usual goalkeeper thing of just shout at anybody near. Everybody's fault but mine, honest. There's nothing worse than, uh, <laughs> there's nothing worse than uh, being humiliated in front of your own fans, unless it's being humiliated in front of somebody else's fans. But anyway, looked like, looked like he, uh, he actually wanted that. In some perverse way, maybe he did. Maybe at the back of his mind, he thought, I'm not doing enough to be a, a star of this game, so have the ball, see what you can do with it from there. Go on, have a go.